This video is going to be talking about the chords that you can pull from the modes, um, which are called triads. A uh, triad is the root, the third, and the fifth note of any mode. So we're still going to stay in the key of G like we did in the last video. And um, again, the first mode in G is just a G major scale. So let's take the root, which is G, the third, and then we have the fifth. One, two, three, four, five. So the root, G, we have the third, B, and then the fifth, D. If you play those all together, then we have a chord. Now let's get the triad out of the second uh, mode. Second mode starts on the second note in the key of G, which is A. We'll play through it. Here's the second one. Then we're up to C, four, five, and then we have E again. So we have A, C, E. We have the root, the third, and the fifth in the second mode of G. The reason we want to get to know the modes is that way we can find the qualities for each of the triads that goes with each of the modes and then work that around um, when we're writing or trying to figure out songs. So in the, uh, the description, the notes that I left, we have the G, we're, we're going to stay in the key of G, so G is the 1, A, the triad that starts off of A is the 2, the triad that starts off of B is the 3. 4 is C, 5 is D, 6 is E, F sharp is that 7, and then we're back to 1 again. The most important Roman numerals to remember is the 1, the 4, and the 5 in any key. That's because they're the most commonly used chords in any key. So again, we're going to stay in the key of G. The 1 chord is G, the 4 chord is C and then the five chord is D. I'll play these uh, arpeggiated triads for you. So there's four different types of triads, uh, three of which you can derive from one of the modes in any key. We have the first three, which are major, minor, and diminished. Then we also have an augmented. Uh, the major, you have a root, a major third, and a perfect fifth. For a minor, you have the root, a minor third, and a perfect fifth. For a diminished, you have the root, a minor third, and then a flat five. For the augmented, you have the root, a major third, and then a sharp five, which is also a minor sixth. So to sum it all up, you have the first chord, the fourth chord, and the fifth chord being major in uh, any key, and you have the second, the third and the sixth being minor, and then the seventh is the one diminished in any key.